Hi guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Um, this one's going to be on shotgun scatter. Um, unlike my previous shooting tutorials, this one's not going to be using projectiles. Uh, we're going to be using a line trace for this. Um, I might do one if people want it for projectiles afterwards. So it's actually spawning actors in the world that shoot um, towards an object, but um, it's a little bit more complicated. You, you can't spawn eight different projectiles all at the same time on top of each other um, so there's a little bit more work to do for that one so I thought I'd release this quick and simple one first so let's get into it um, first of all in your content first person blueprints and open up your weapon component now this is where we're spawning our bullets um, when we're normally shooting so we can steal a couple of things from here we'll take this input and we'll take everything after this sound, including the sound. So I've got a shotgun fire sound plugged into here, and this is just a, a shooting animation. Right. So first of all, let's let's set up a line trace. So we want line trace by channel, and up here is our camera. So we'll Control D to duplicate that. And we'll get location. And that's where our line trace is going to start. <clears throat> then we can get the forward vector and we multiply that because we know which way we're facing. We just need to know how far we're going to be shooting there. Um, so we're going to multiply that. I'm going to create a literal int for that. Um, if you've got different weapons that all have different ranges, then this is where you'd be plugging in your variable for those ranges. Um, I don't currently have that, so I'm just plugging in a number. So we'll do 5,000. Then add the result of those two together, and that will be our end value. Uh, for this example, let's put draw debug type on persistent. Let's try this out. So we fire and we get our line, which is a start, but we need multiple lines and a bit of a scatter for a, for a shotgun. So let's work on that. So let's do a for loop. There's a few for loops. Um, ignore the for each ones. Um, these will need an array for it to work. We are just going to go for the standard for loop. And it gives us these options. So I'm going to put seven in there for this, which will fire this off eight times because it does count the zero as well. So now we'll get eight lines shooting out. The problem is they're all going to the same place. So they're all going to be on top of each other. We're not going to be able to see what they're doing. So this end value here, I'm going to add to that and we'll split that and then from each one of these, we're going to add a random float. Not a random float. A random float in range. So we can actually set the range of it. So I'm going to put it to, we'll try 200, see how that gets us. And duplicate that and plug it in. Again, like the, the range, um, if you've got some sort of maybe accuracy um, variable or something within your weapon, you can plug those into the max there, or set this up in some way anyway for to take into account different weapons. And oh, I've added a pin there. Right. Then we plug that into the end. All right. So in theory, this should fire off eight times with a different random value each time <clears throat> on each of the line traces. Let's see what happens. There we go. So that's where we shot from, and there's a nice scatter pattern there. Nice strange grouping. I'll shoot again, and it's all randomized again. It's different every time. And it is less accurate the further you are away. And then if we shoot all the way down here. Yeah. So we get a nice tight group in the closer you are, which I think is pretty accurate for a shotgun mechanic. 
All right, now we can plug in our sound and animation. Um, we don't want to plug it in like that because this whole thing here is far enough as many times as this tells it to. So we don't want the sound far enough that many times and the animation doing whatever it's going to do if we try and fire that eight times all in one go. Um, so we can break this and we'll put all this <clears throat> after. So it's going to fire the sound, the animation, then do all that. This will happen so quick anyway that it doesn't really matter that this is happening first. You're never going to be able to see the difference. So I'll show you that in action. Oh, that sounds not great, is it? There we go. A few things you can do yourself with this and experiment. This line trace by channel. If you drag out that out hit and break it, you get all the information about the thing you've hit. So if you want, you can grab the hit actor and apply damage. And we connect those up. Um, base damage, that'll be up to you and your type of gun. Whatever damage you've set up for it can be plugged in there. And this will just send a message to that actor saying, I'm applying damage to you by this much, do your thing. And you'll have your thing set up in in your uh, your actor that you're damaging to, to decrease its health or kill it or whatever you're doing there. Um, and this will do it per pellet. So each one of these individually will apply its own damage to it. Um, so if only two hit it, only two are causing the damage. So I'll, I'll leave you with that little bit to play with. Uh, any questions, any advice you need, then give me a shout. I'll be happy to help. Thank you. Bye.